How's it going fellow foxes? My name is Soledo and today we'll be taking a look at the brand new game from Zeto Lab, the makers of King of Thieves. It's this game, it's called Cat or Crash Arena Turbo Star, so it's a very long name. A little bit hard to remember, but we'll just let it go by cats. So this is the game and basically it's a game where you have to build some kind of vehicle to destroy someone else's vehicle. It's a very cool game, it offers a lot of customization and it's really for creative thinkers. It's a lot different than King of Thieves or for that matter it's a lot different than any other game I've ever played. So as you can see here in the middle of the screen this is my current uh, loadout, that's my tank, you know. So we can click on this one and we can totally customize them. So the first things we see over here are stickers. So basically you can put on stickers on your vehicle and other people will see them and you can just customize it every way you want to. Then the next thing you see here are toolboxes and these toolboxes you can you can add these toolboxes to certain parts of your vehicle to improve them. Uh, but be wise because once you've improved a certain part uh, the toolbox is gone and you can no longer use it on another part so uh, you have to be very confident in your decision because there's no undo button for that okay so next thing here if you click over here you get all your body parts so as you can see these are all the body parts which are available to me and as you can see you have different shapes uh, but every shape has also like these attachment points and uh, so I'll give you an example for example this one here uh, this shape is called Titan and it has like two big attachment points and these are used for weapons and then you have these uh, small uh, square attachment points and these are used for utilities or like gadgets they are called in this game. Uh, so I'll show you. So first let's take a look over at the weapons. Here are all the weapons which are available to me. As you can see I have accumulated quite a lot of weapons and there's all kinds of weapons but as you can see certain one of them are exactly the same. So this is a chainsaw. This is also a chainsaw but uh, as you can see this chainsaw is a lot better than this one. Uh, so let's take a look actually at what differentiates a certain weapon from another so if you take a look at this drill here this drill offers a power or attack of 240 uh, 74 and it also consumes nine power so every body type or every specific body has an amount of health and an amount of uh, power so you need to keep in mind that you need a lot of power to power your weapon so be sure to pick enough of these uh, lightnings uh, because you'll definitely need them in your body so the current one we have over here has 16 power that's quite a lot so now we can fit stuff on here so let's say I want to fit on this stinger so I put it over here and now we have consumed 7 of the 16 energy that means we have still 9 energy left to use so perhaps you could uh, place like this chainsaw over here now we have used 14 of the 16, but keep in mind we still have one attachment point for a gadget. So let's take a look at those. These are my gadgets. Gadgets I don't have very many, uh, but so there are certain gadgets you can apply. And like this, uh, this forklift consumes two power, so that's exactly what we need. We can add this to the over here. But as you can see, we can uh, not add this anywhere else. Uh, it needs to be at this specific attachment point. So one last thing we have to take a uh, look at. Uh, on it are the wheels there are all, all kinds of wheels in very different shapes and basically they go from very big wheels to very small wheels and like you might think what do wheels matter they are so boring well actually in this game it's very important because balance is so crucial because when your vehicle gets tipped over you most likely will lose the game unless you specifically designed your vehicle to still deal a lot of damage when it's uh, when it's flipped but most vehicles don't, especially not the one I'm not using here. So balance is going to be a real key. Uh, you're not uh, like, it's not an obligation to put wheels on it. So a lot of people don't even put wheels on it because it makes the vehicle too unstable. And also it makes the vehicle go closer to the enemy. So you have to keep in mind that it might not always be wise to put on uh, these wheels. But I certainly recommend it because every wheel adds uh, like health to your uh, vehicle so as you can see at the moment at the bottom you can see we have 762 so when we add this uh, wheel over here that will increase and we can add another wheel over here so this is our current vehicle and I should say why not take it for a test drive 
Keep in mind, I've designed this uh, vehicle pretty badly and it probably won't perform, perform that good. So we'll take a look over here. So here is a match we are matched up against. We are matched up against Zook. And at the top, you can see that we have less health than him and we also have less attack than him. On top of that, his weapon is a ranged weapon. It's a rocket. And so he will be able to hit us much faster than we can. So we will definitely lose this match. But I still want to show you guys how it goes. So as you can see, our vehicle isn't very well designed. It even tipped itself. So that's just to illustrate how important balance is with certain vehicles. Especially for the long one, uh, the Titan. It's a very crucial. So uh, let's go back here and let's design an actual vehicle which might stand a chance. So I've been using uh, one a certain specific kind of vehicle. Uh, quite a lot and it's this one the surfer that's the body uh, so this is a very good body but it has one disadvantage it's a surfer and the main disadvantage of a surfer is that like it's very easy for an enemy forklift to catch you up and flip you over so you'll see that this is a real problem with this body type especially with the wheel so in front I think uh, but yeah still it's the best I got so I, I have to do something with it right uh, so we're gonna use this body part and now one really cool thing is I got I have to admit I got kind of lucky when opening chests and I don't even know how I got them anymore but as you can see these are all like iron parts like these blue parts they are a better tier than these wooden parts but for the wheels I still have these wooden parts because they have such an amazing bonus look at this guys a hundred percent extra health to surfer and guess what this is obviously a surfer so now if we add these wheels to that look at the health at the moment it's 726 and we're gonna add these two wheels and just look at how it got bumped up all the way to about 2000 health that's just insane so now it's time to look at the weapons and so these are all these iron kind of weapons but, but I actually have one we a weapon of the next tier already it's this stinger and like it's military tier this guy and as you can see like it offers 506 damage for only 6 power and that's because it's the next tier weapon let's take a look at this stinger for example like it, it uses 9 power that's insane for 200 health so I definitely couldn't apply uh, this on my vehicle but I certainly can do with this one. Now the cool part about the Stinger is that it's a very long range, as you can see it's very long, so we can actually stick it over here and still be able to deal damage, because that front knob or the front attachment point we're gonna need for something else. So uh, the other thing we're gonna use is this one, and uh, this is a drill. And as you can see it also has a bonus on it, which offers 6% extra health to surfers, so that always comes in handy. It deals a 400 damage, but it also uses 10 energy. But the cool part is because this uh, stinger was so cheap in energy, we can actually afford to put uh, this, uh, this on here. Okay, so let's head, head over to the gadgets here. And so we don't have a lot of gadgets. And usually it's very, a very good idea to install a forklift on your vehicle if the attachment point is situated right. Sadly enough, that's not the case for us. So we can't make use of, uh, of the forklift. Now, what else do we have? We have uh, a back pedal, and this will actually uh, boost you in the other side. So you most likely want to use the back pedal when you're uh, using some kind of range weapons like the rocket or the laser. But that's definitely not the case with that. We, ha we have very close uh, proximity weapons. So we want to get as close as possible to the enemy. Uh, as fast as possible. So we're gonna have to use a booster and this is currently my best booster I have. Uh, so we're gonna apply this one to our vehicle. So now it's fully maxed out. It's got 17 power. It was all consumed by our gadgets and our weapons. And we have 900 damage. It's an insane amount. And also 2000, 2200 health almost. So let's take this bad boy for a ride. And if I'm correct, he should do pretty decent. One thing he's bad against though is being tipped. But I don't think that will be the situation. As you can see, we're, uh, we're fighting against Clod Clodictor and we're about the same health, but I have a lot more attack, so watch this. He even flips itself and we just completely annihilate him. There we go. Okay, so what you can see here, you get like these uh, blue, uh, I don't know, medals I should call them, I'm not really sure. 14 I get of them. And the amount you get will increase uh, by how many... Um, uh, by how many uh, win streaks you have. So at the current, our win streak is at one. And every time you win, you will increase your win streak. We'll probably not win this fight because he has a forklift. As you can see, he just lifts us up 
and then our uh, stinger and our drill are just useless and we can deal no damage at all. So it's very important when like choosing these fights that you take Pay close attention to what you're actually going to fight so you can determine whether or not you're gonna win the fight. Because there actually is a skip button. So when you go over here you can actually press the skip button. For me it's cost 290 coins. And then you can just skip over to the next opponent. We'll probably lose this fight too. He's a lot more health, a lot more tight than us. So too bad we couldn't win that. Now okay. If you lose you obviously lose those blow medals. And as you can see these blue medals are used over here. And it's, I'm currently in Stone League, so yesterday I was in the Wooden League, I think, in Wooden League. And I was able uh, to get promoted to the Stone League today. And every round lasts, la lasts two days, so in about a day and a half I will get promoted once again to the Bronze League, probably. As you can see, I'm currently sitting in first position with 23k medals. So I'm doing pretty well over here, as you can see. Uh, I have to leave, lose about 10k medals in order to get... Uh, so I, if, if, I, if I would lose out on the promotion. So that probably won't happen. So you can expect me to move on to the Bronze League pretty soon. You can also take a look at the top players here. And they just have an insane amount of these blue medals. Like this guy have 2.7 million. But you have to keep in mind this game was released uh, quite a few weeks or, or months ago in beta. And so then a lot of people were able to climb pretty quickly. And so they have a pretty good advantage over us new players who just joined the game. Uh, because this game only went, um, was released in public like two days ago, so it's a very brand new game, but yeah, these guys have been playing for quite a long time. You can actually take a look at their vehicle and see how crazy they are, so let's let's, let's see if I would win against this guy, obviously not. He has about six, 600k damage, that's insane. Okay, so, let's take a look here. So, at the left, you can see we have all these chests, so uh, these chests can be opened up, and... Um, they contain valuable parts for you, which you can use to customize your vehicle, obviously. Now, how do you get these chests? You, you get them by doing these quick fights, and every three fights you win, you get a chest. Now, one other thing you might notice is that there are, like, crones stacked next to it. And you get these crones by having a win streak of at least five. And then every five matches you win, uh, you get another crown. And so the crown randomly gets put on one of your chests, and you can only have a maximum of three crowns on each chest. And what this crown will do, it will increase a star of one of the parts in uh, the chest. So three items will get an extra star in this chest, because it has three crowns. Now, you have like these wooden boxes, they take two hours to unlock, and you also have uh, these, uh, I don't know what they're called, super boxes, and they take six hours to unlock. You can also pay gems, or sometimes you can watch an ad to shorten the duration. Uh, but so it, so it's very important. Like this box uh, contains only four parts, and they're just random. But this guy here contains eight parts. But at least one part is a super part. That means that it will give 25% bonus uh, to a certain something. So it's really important to get these super and legendary parts because, like my wheels, they give 100% bonus, and so they, they are like this gold. They're like golden, so that's the legendary part, which gives a 100% bonus to something. And these are really important, and if you get such a part, you should really design your vehicle around it, because it's just so very strong. I have one other legendary part, it's like this um, blade, and it, it, it's, it looks really strong, and it's really strong, but you have to attach it to a titan. And like, my titan uh, body ties just aren't that very good, so I don't really have a use for that blade, which is bad, because I would like to use it. Uh, but it's just not meant to be, you know. Okay, so another thing we can take a look at here is the championship. And this is actually really important. So as you can see, I'm currently in third position. And so we're going to take a look at the map here. And these are all uh, the stages I have beaten. And each and every time you can see what vehicle I used to beat that certain time of stage. So as you can see, like from like stage 4 and onwards, I really went into Surfer. And it has served me quite well, as you can see. So I did pretty well. Uh, here I upgraded. I got a I got a, a metal surfer. So now we're over here, the military part. But we're only in stage one, so then we can continue. Here we will get a sticky roller, and we go on to the golden parts, a double rocket. We go on to the carbon parts, and this is the end. I'm not really sure what happens after then, but I think it's kind of some kind of reset, and you start over again, but with additional bonuses. I'm not entirely sure, but I'm pretty sure it doesn't end here, okay? 
So let's head back here. This is the current championship in it. And okay, how can you progress to the next stage? Well, either you, you have to wait till this timer runs out and you have to be like in the top six. Now, don't think that is easy because a lot of pe people rotate out and new players come in and then you have to beat them once again. So when the, the championship ends at night and a lot of new players come in, you will lose a lot of medals because you don't, haven't defeated him, even though you would very easily defeat them if you were online. But you weren't online, so you will drop down here, over here, and you won't get promoted. So that's definitely something you should keep in mind. And it seems like a little design flaw. It's not too major, though, so I'm, I, I'm, I, I don't mind, really. But so there's another way to promote also, and that's... Uh, to get instantly promoted and you can do that when you beat all 14 other players in one go with the same vehicle now keep in mind this is very hard to do because every vehicle has its own weaknesses and to be able to beat 14 different other vehicles that's a very tough task to accomplish but it's certainly possible because up until now i've always been able to do so uh, that's the only way i have actually progressed to these stages is by beating all 14 other players now, as you can see, I still have to beat uh, these three guys. Uh, so, but if you click fight here, it will automatically fight all 14 other players. Uh, but at the moment, we're looking for another player, so I can't actually get promoted instantly. But still, we can take a look at how I will go. So, as you can see, a, for a forklift is just like... Yeah, we you just can't win against a forklift, you know. A forklift just completely flips us and renders us useless. But against other... Uh other vehicles you actually have a pretty good chance of beating them so let's take a look here at how we will be doing how many of these fights you will actually win okay this is uh, it's gonna be a close match so also one thing you have to keep in mind is that the battle doesn't last so after a while like the the walls has come closing in and whoever touches the walls, walls first actually loses. So it can be a very viable strategy to make like a vehicle with a tremendous amount of health which just pushes the opponent against the wall and annihilates it against uh, the walls who come closing in. Okay, so overall we're not doing that great as you can see. That guy barely survived uh, because he was able to uh, tip us with his forklift. It seems like we might win this battle. Yeah, actually, we do. But as you can see, a lot of uh, guys are, are rocking very, very powerful parts here. Yeah, once again, we win. So, over to the last... Oh, what was the last fight? We won 9 out of 13. So, that isn't too bad, but that's also not that great. Okay. So, one thing you could obviously pick up uh, from the battles we did was that we are very vulnerable to getting flipped, especially when someone is rocking that forklift. So what will we do? I have come up with a certain kind of adaption, uh, which is actually a pretty good counter to forklifts. So guys, pay attention. Also, keep in mind, that's not the only way to deal with the forklift. There are many counters to it, but this is definitely one you should consider, in my opinion. So as you can see, um, this guy offers like 400 power, uh, 400 attack for 10 power. It's quite a lot. So we're going to remove that and I have this blade over here. This is my most powerful blade. It offers 200 attack for 9 power. So we're going to equip this like that. And so now we have a little bit less power. I have to admit that, right? But a weapon that doesn't reach the opponent is a useless weapon. It doesn't matter how much, how much attack it offers. It's a useless weapon if it can't touch the enemy. And the advantage of a blade is that it will be almost always be able to hit the enemy. And that's exactly what the use of this blade is. It's to just touch the enemy even... Nah, touch is the wrong word. To, to attack the enemy and deal damage to the enemy even when you are getting flipped. And you'll see a blade is a pretty good addition in my opinion. It doesn't always work because obviously it offers a little bit less um, attack. But... It's better than the, the previous one, because it, when getting flipped, look at this, we still continue to deal damage. We might not win this, but as you can see, it's very close battle, and when the battle is close, that means that with just a little bit of upgrading to your weapons and your parts, you will be able to actually beat him. So, that's always very important to keep in mind. Like, sometimes you lose because you, you just don't have the sheer amount of power, but sometimes you just lose because the design of your 
car or vehicle as flop and it can't easily get tipped or or just this just doesn't deal it can't touch the enemy you know so I much rather have a uh, two less power because that means uh, I'm two less attack I mean uh, because that means that by upgrading your parts you can actually you will eventually be able to beat him so let's take a look here at how we are doing and see how many so previously we won nine out of 13 fights I think so we'll take a look here at how many fights we were able to win this time and I think it might be more than, pre than we previously won okay so one more fight to go here Ooh, this is gonna be a close one. Oh, we were still were able to beat him. There we go. So we won 11 fights out of 13. That's a big improvement, as you can see. Even though the blade offers less power, eh, in my particular championship, it's definitely a uh, an improvement upon my vehicle. So there's still two guys which are, oh, actually, uh, this guy joined. So let's beat him over here. Okay, this guy is obviously very easy to beat. There we go. So sometimes you can get lucky and you just get an empty body. That's because people are actually constricting uh, their vehicle at that moment. So I'm currently in first position. That's pretty good. So let's take a look what it would actually take to beat this bra here. So how does he beat us? Is it because sheer amount of power or what is it? So he obviously had this very strong laser and then... Okay, so his laser is able to get off a second shot. So basically we need to kill him before his laser hits us. But as you can see, um, Brar didn't have that much health left. So I think with a, a couple of upgrades here and there, we might be able to beat him. So let's take a look at this guy here, at Backfast. So he once again also has laser, but just, he has just such an insane amount of health. He has 4,000 health. That is just out of this world, man. So yeah, we're gonna need to upgrade our weapons quite a lot in order to beat uh, uh, back fast like 4,000 health. That's insane. In my opinion, I already have quite a lot of health and That's only 2,000, you know, so I'm gonna show you how to upgrade your weapons So you click on a weapon and as you can see this weapon is level 3 and you can add certain Other parts to this weapon to improve upon it But keep in mind when you do this you will lose a part and it cost a little bit of money so you have to pay a uh, very close attention to which part you actually want to fuse together okay um, so let's take a look here what parts I want to get rid of like this laser here it's not very good but like I it's sometimes kind of difficult to like uh, fuse a part because you're not sure you might it might come in useless later on but like sometimes you just have to forget about that and just fuse them because in the long run it really is worth it uh, to to merge them together. Okay, so what is my okay? So let's I'm gonna fuse this one. So this laser we're gonna put it in here. And as you can see, the green uh, there's like a green line which increases, and you have to fill the entire line in order to level it up. So that won't be enough to level up. So we're gonna have to put in another part actually. Let's see. Let's take a look at what more we have over here. That's pretty strong. Let's pick this one. So we're gonna do this saw in here. There we go. And as you can see, this will bring the blade to level four and add six additional damage to it. So. It's not that much, I got to admit, but it's something at least. And if you do this with a lot of your weapons, you can actually really increase the power of certain parts. But it each time costs money, so you probably run out of money. I have had a cash stack of about 150k coins, and I all spent it on upgrading my vehicle. So you can really, uh, quite easily, uh, burn through all your money. Keep that in mind. So then, there's one last thing I need to show you guys, and that is... Um, the batting part so you always have two bets you have the short bet so this uh, bet ends in three minutes and you have a long bet this bet ends in 30 minutes but it can go up to four hours i think uh so you can bet on one of these guys and you have to bet a part on it so let's say i want to bet on this guy and then you have to drag a part to here and it, it will receive a bonus of one percent if this car wins and if you bet on this car and it wins you will get three percent bonus same goes for this, but it's a little bit bigger bonus. Uh, so yeah. But what happens if you lose? You actually lose all your parts. So be very careful. 
there's however an option to recover them, but last time I did a big bet. I put 3 items in there, I lost it, and then I had to pay 27 gems to get them back. So you can bet, but keep in mind that it can be a very costly thing to do because you're going to spend a lot of gems in order to recover your lost items. And so I would only suggest betting on these guys if you're very certain which one will, will win. I have to admit, sometimes I do bet. If it's actually obvious who's going to win, I do this. But let's just like take a look at these guys. You know, I actually don't agree with the majority here, and I think Gosso, uh, the right guy, will win uh, because he has this forklift, you know, and the other guy has his rocket launcher. But if he's able to t to like pull the other guy up in the air, um, then that will be useless. That will totally be useless. Uh, that thing. And he also has a booster, so they will uh, quite quickly come next to each other and then he will be able to lift them up. That's what I think will happen, I'm not entirely sure because I have to admit his rocket is pretty strong, so with two hits he will be able to kill him, so it's going to go fast. But really, in all honesty, I have no clue who will win here, so that's the reason why I won't be betting on this one. But it's a little bit more obvious who will win, I will definitely bet my parts, it's kind of worth it, if you win at least. Uh, so yeah, you should keep that in mind. So before we end this video, I want to really encourage you to come and join our Facebook group about cats. It's called Cats Crash Arena Turbo Stars International. This is our group. And uh, so we talk a lot about different strategies, uh, about random stuff about the game. It's really fun. There's a lot of interaction over here. So I definitely advise you to come over and check it out. Join the group and just have some fun. If Facebook not really your thing and you're more into Reddit, I also made a separate called reddit.com slash r slash cats the game. You already have 73 subscribers, so it's quite a lot. And there's also a lot of talking over here about strategies. It's more content driven. So is Reddit more your, your kind of game? Definitely come and join us at r slash cats the game. So that's all I had to say. Um, I will also put links to both communities below in the, in the description. So definitely check that out. And so yeah, that was today's episode about the new game, Crash Arena Turbo Stars or Cats from Zeptal Lab. I really, 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 really like this game, so you can definitely expect more videos about this game in the near future. Uh, I still have to study quite a lot for college, so like I can't promise that many videos, but I'll do my best to like put up regularly a video about this game. I hope you guys will play this game with me and, you know, have fun, fellow foxes. Take care, and see you next time.